1997, Jim Dobbins uh, at the Centers for Disease Control and Brigitte Evengard at the Karolinska Institute recruited me to work with them in determining whether a virus we had identified several years earlier was the cause of chronic fatigue syndrome. In retrospect, I had seen a case of chronic fatigue syndrome referred by Dan Peterson from Incline Village when I was a resident at UC San Francisco in 1984, but I had not appreciated at that time that what I was seeing was an individual who was afflicted with chronic fatigue syndrome. We eliminated that virus, born a disease virus. However, I was impressed that three quarters of the patients had evidence of immunological abnormalities. I told them at that point that I was intrigued and I thought that resources should be invested in looking for other infectious triggers of disease. However, these resources were not forthcoming and I worked on other challenges in subsequent years, but I never lost interest or hope that there would be other opportunities to contribute. In 2010, Drs. Anthony Fauci of the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and Francis Collins, who is the director of the NIH, asked me to look into two prominent papers that had implicated retroviruses and chronic fatigue syndrome. The result was that these viruses were ruled out, but my interest was rekindled, chiefly by the clinician investigators and the patients. We also began working at that time with a foundation in a search for biomarkers and for causative agents, the Hutchins Family Foundation. And with their support, we are off to an excellent start, but again, the resources are insufficient to do what needs to be done, to do what the community deserves. I'm seeking your support to pursue a rigorous search for microbes that can trigger chronic fatigue syndrome. I promise that our team will focus its best people and its best tools on the problem. We need you as partners. We can solve this together. Thank you.